Hello guys, welcome to Yet Podcast. We are glad today to have um, a great lady with us. Her name is Chipo. You're with me, Faith Casina. So welcome, Chipo. Please introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much, Faith, for having me today. My name is Chipo Paradzai. And basically, in a nutshell, I'm just a woman who is on a mission to help other young women discover who they truly are and to impact the world around them. Wow. That's, that's powerful. That's mm. a very powerful speech for a start. So um, you are you're on a road to... Help young women discover who they are. Yes. Does that mean you you run an organization? You have an organization? Or how do you do this? Well, um, I founded an organization called Refined Hearts. And Refined Hearts is all about helping women and girls to realize their purpose, fulfill their dreams, reach their leadership potential. So uh, we basically do this by having a sisterhood community where women and girls have a safe space for them to talk about their issues, their achievements, their victories. And also we provide mentorship and coaching for these uh, members. We call them Refined Hearts members, by the way. So they have mentorship and coaching from different professionals, from different industries, from different fields. And also as Refined Hearts, we provide an enabling environment, an environment of inspiration, motivation, an environment that will awaken uh, the dormant dreams of women and girls. So we do this by um, hosting an annual conference every year where we invite um, amazing young and older women who have done remarkable work in society to come through, share their personal stories, share keys, concepts on how to actually get to where they're supposed to be. Wow, that's that's amazing and it's powerful because I tend to believe that at some times we need someone to hold our hand. We need to be inspired. We need to we need to learn from someone. So that's that's really really inspiring and great. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I want to ask: Is it something that you wanted to do when you were young? Is it something that you grew up with? Or is just something you picked up along the way? You know, um, when I was young, I always had this sense of wanting to be influential of some sort. Mm -hmm. I, I always would picture myself being on magazines and charting mm -hmm. the top 100 most influential <laughs> women for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that thought came from. And then when I got a bit older, I started doubting myself, but um, I regained myself once again. And... I started, instead of dreaming, I started working out the dream. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there is so much work to do in society. I just didn't want to be a woman who achieved things by herself. I wanted to grab the hands of other young women, other oh. girls, other even older women and say, you know what? We can do this together. Yeah, to rise with others. Yes. yes. So um, what are the challenges that you faced along the way? That you can say this has been a really big challenge for me. Mm. Um, as an individual or as an organization? Both. Both, okay. Yeah. As an individual, um, I would say, you know, um, imposter syndrome, yeah. you know. I think it's, it's something that gets the best of a lot of uh, women and girls where you feel like you don't deserve to be seated on certain tables. Yes. You don't deserve to, to achieve certain things yeah. where you feel like certain opportunities are even not for you. Yeah. So to, uh, I must confess and say that it still does get the best of me sometimes, but I always find a way to overcome it. Yeah. You deserve to sit on those tables. <laughs> so in case you don't know, in yes. case you need affirmation, yes. you're great. Thank you deserve you. to sit on those tables. Thank your you. voice matters Thank and you're you. enough. Thank you. So um, what would you say inspires you? Or what, what keeps you going mm. with all the challenges, with everything? Mm. What keeps you going? You know, what keeps me going is the personal stories of people that have achieved greatness. 
I am so inspired by that, particularly women. And I'm not saying that because it's Women's Month. Yeah. I really study the stories of great women and I, I learn their challenges that they went through and some of the obstacles that they had to overcome. And I draw inspiration from that. To say, you know what? If Oprah could <laughs> overcome that, I can do that. If, um, you know, the first lady of a particular country um, could go through a particular um, challenge or obstacles, I can also overcome it the way that she did. Because she's human, I'm human too. She's capable, I'm, I'm capable, capable too. Sure. Yeah. Perfect. Um, what's what's your, your biggest challenge, ah, achievement or success that you can say, this? I think this is my biggest achievement? Oh my gosh, I have tons of achievements. Yes, but please just... tell us. No, 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 we are here. We have the whole day for you. Okay. Um, for starters, I'd have to say actually starting having the courage to start refined hearts yes. for me uh, was absolutely one of my greatest achievements of my life wow. because um, I would doubt I had the idea for so many years and I would doubt if I was capable. Would anyone even want to attend? Would anyone want to be a part of such mm. a, an initiative? But from the right from the beginning, from the first workshop that we hosted, from the first conference that we hosted, tons and tons of young women wow. have come through, have attended, even their stories, their testimonies of how Refined Hearts has impacted their lives wow. is yeah. what reminds me that surely um, it's really one of my greatest achievements. And I think also being a Mandela Washington Fellow, uh-huh. it's it's... I was surprised and I was so excited to be part of such a powerful fellowship. Um, I learned so much as well, particularly from the other fellows. So that is something that I would say was where my top two, top part of the top five greatest achievements. Of course, uh-huh. I have plenty more, but from the top of my head, that is what I can think of. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Really. Thank you. So this, um, this being a Women's Month, and yes. as you celebrate International Women's Day, mm-hmm. what is your message for people out there? Mm. What's, um, what do you want to tell women, mm-hmm. young women, either old or just women, you mm. know, and girls, and the society at large? What's mm. your message? Wow. I think three things that I would have to say to women out there. Mm-hmm. Number one, believe in yourself. It is powerful to believe in yourself, in your abilities, in your strengths, in your capabilities. Mm -hmm. Number two, don't be afraid to show up. I think one of the things that um, draws us back as women is we are so scared to show up to places of influence. We are so scared to show up and speak our truth and voice out our opinions. I think showing up is one of the most powerful things that women can do in this day and age. And then um, uh, thirdly, I think authenticity. Yes. It is so powerful to be yourself, to be authentic. You don't have to imitate how the next powerful woman speaks or does her work. You are you. You have your own blueprint and you are capable of um, impacting this world just the way that you are. So that's just my advice for women out there. (laughs) Thank you. We are capable. I think... I will end it there in case you, you. Do, do you have anything to add or just um, to share your Twitter handles or where people can, where your organization located in mm-hmm. case what one wants to follow you, mm-hmm. one wants to get in touch with you. Do you want to share that? Yeah, sure. So you can follow us on Facebook. Uh, it's at capital H refined hearts, the hearts of the H for the heart is a capital letter. So they are both joined together. And then um, also you can follow us on Instagram. We are at Refined Hearts, one word in small letters. So you can catch us there. We're also on YouTube, by the way. If you just type in Refined Hearts, you would definitely pop up. Uh, what will pop up would be our um, YouTube channel. So thank you so much for making time to come thank you for making time to come and inspire other girls thank you we look out there are women who look up to you and be mm. proud of you mm-hmm. keep doing what you do mm-hmm. you give up most girls who give up you know mm. maybe you don't know but people are looking up to you you mm. know you're great you're powerful and keep doing 
keep being authentic. Mm, yes. Definitely, I'll keep being we authentic. We are capable. I think what I'm picking out of this is that we are capable. Yes. So thank you definitely. so much for staying with us. This has been Yats Podcast. See you next time. Thank you.